what sort of Christians are you? We are indeed. Are, are you are you are born? You a, I'm a Catholic. Are you a Catholic? I'm my Catholic. wife was my wife was a Catholic. She's out of her religion. Mm -hmm. Do you do you ever think about the afterlife? Uh, sometimes. What's your name? Aaron. Aaron, keep that. Keep it's fine. That. Oh, okay. Yeah, Thanks. keep that. Um, I'm David. Nice to meet you. And my wife Gay. Nice to meet you. Now, get under the shade. Yeah, yeah get under the shade. Uh, God's going to judge people not by a religion. Yeah? Mm. Put your religion to the side. Yeah. Did you say Aaron? Yes. Aaron. Good name. Yeah, thank you. Put your religion to the side and what you believe. Put your lifestyle to the side. Mm. God's going to judge everyone by His standard. And His standard is the Ten Commandments. You've heard of the Ten yeah. Commandments. Yeah. Let's go through three, four, five to see how well you'll do on that yeah. day. And I'm not judging you. I broke all ten. Yeah? yeah? Um, the ninth commandment says, Thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not lie. Yeah. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call someone who lies, Aaron? A lie. Well done, first question, right? We'll do four or five. The eighth commandment says, Thou shalt not steal. Have you ever took anything irrelevant to the value and not give it back in your entire life, even a pen? Probably, yeah. What do you call someone who steals? Thief. Well done. Third one. Have you ever took God's name in vain? OMG in the name of Jesus? Oh, yeah. Do you know excuse, what I mean? Excuse me for a second. Okay. So uh, it's called blasphemy. In the Old Testament, that would have been a death sentence. Yeah, yeah he would yeah. have been gone a long time ago. Um, two more. Are you married? No. No. I'm married now for 12 years. Oh, well done. But I was single for 10 years before that. Yeah. And God was teaching me a lesson because of my old lifestyle, right? But there's two ways of committing adultery. Did you know that? So, yeah. In it, says, it says in Matthew, yeah. Jesus, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 and 28, You've heard it said of them of old time, adultery. they shall not commit adultery. Yeah. But I say unto you, that whosoever looks at a woman or a man to lust after them, sexual desire, you've already committed adultery because you're going to judge your thoughts, our words, and our actions. Yeah. So you've done that as well. You're a red-blooded male, the same as me. Last one. The sixth commandment says, they shall not kill, they shall not murder. Not kill. Now, 1 John 3.15 says that Whosoever hates his brother has committed murder of the heart, and yeah. you know that no murderer have eternal life abiding in him. Because you killed him in your heart. The thought life. Have you ever hated anyone? Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll stop there. That's five of the Ten Commandments, and thank you for your patience. Yeah, that's all right. Now, I'm just interested in here as well. I, uh, the reason why we're I, doing it. I like, you know, it might be different denominations, but yeah. I do like listening to different debates and, you know, people who also follow. I'm not in a, in a denomination. Yeah, non denomination. But, and the yeah. reason why is because religion can't save anyone there's only one savior right if you died today Aaron and you went before God and we're doing this because we love people I look around and within 50 or 100 years every one of us will be gone it's yeah. appointed on to men once to die and after the judgment mm -hmm. now if God were to judge you which he will by that standard ten commandments we've done five yeah. and see you now as a lion thief and blasphemous mm -hmm. adulterer and a murdered heart mm -hmm. If he were to judge you by all ten, would you be innocent or guilty, Aaron? I'll be guilty as charged. Like the rest of us. Heaven or hell? Oh, yeah, heaven, you know. I quite like it. <laughs> well. Would I go there? Well, that's what God says. God says, but the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars yeah. shall have their part in the lake of fire. Hell. Mm. At the moment, you violated his law. Mm. You'd be heading for his eternal prison, a place called hell. Yeah. Now, let me give you some good news. How can God let guilty people like us into heaven and at the same time be a good righteous judge? Well, if you repent and believe that Jesus Christ is Lord, okay. He was crucified and rose from the dead, if you believe in Him and you truly confess with your lips, you will have salvation. Thank you. I'm just getting to that. The good news is that on that cross 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. Jesus, God incarnate in His Son, through the death, burial, and resurrection, through his precious blood, mm. shed his blood to save us from our sins. Yeah. yeah. Two things we must do. One, we got to believe, first of all, what Jesus done through mm. the death, burial, and resurrection and through his precious blood on the cross of yeah. Calvary. The second thing is, is to transfer our goodness, stop trusting in our own good works to save us. Yeah. I do, I, savior, it's God's for grace. by grace are you saved through faith and not, not of yourselves. Good, you should do it, but that's not purely what gets you it's not like a weighing scale like oh, i've done more like than so this it's, it's a free gift it's a gift and it's a free we gift. should take it as a gift the second thing is to not trust in ourselves but yeah. to transfer our trust from ourselves and put our faith and trust in, in the one who paid yeah. the price jesus christ yeah. alone yeah. the moment we do we pass from eternal death to eternal life right. yeah. our place in heaven is is um from that day forth 
Our name is written in the book of life. You receive the Holy Spirit and we walk by faith. We live by faith. Yeah. yeah. So it makes sense. You no, know, it does. I mean, I've been Catholic all my life. You know, I was lucky to be born as a Catholic as well. Mm. I wasn't the most practiced as a kid, you know. So you're born again out of your, you've come out of your religion. No, no, no. I would never, no, I never strayed away from religion, but I wasn't, I used to go to church every Sunday, but that was about it when I was a teenager. Yeah. But then since coming to university, you know, I've been developing my faith more and uh, as strong as it's See? ever been. So you, yeah. you know the thing is, my wife came out of her religion because yeah. she's. Uh, it says in Revelation, "Come out of her, my people. Mm -hmm. Come out of the Babylon. Come out of the religion." Yeah. 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 And because so, there's only one Savior, Jesus Christ. A priest can't save us. Yeah. We shouldn't confess to a priest or a, or a man because we didn't sin against them. No. We sinned against God vertically. So it's got to be a vertical repentance. Or Aaron. I do disagree with that, but I see. I see your point. But you I see? do disagree with. Uh... Do you read your Bible every day? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It says in the Bible, and every every priest stand of daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take, take away sins. sins. So this is Hebrews. So this is Old Testament. Hebrews uh, and ten, which is New Testament, uh, and yeah, twelve. Hebrews is. Oh, sorry. It's in New Testament, yeah. right? But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. Jesus offered mm. offered one sacrifice for yeah. man, not the priest, not the religion. Mm. He Read Matthew 23. He called them religious and Pharisees of the day, the same as uh, the, the religions today. He called them, you hypocrites, you, you blind gauge, you fools, you generation of vipers mm. in Matthew 23. Now, make him mad Jesus. No, make him mad Jesus. He went into the temple, and you know what he done in the yeah, temple. Yeah. So, it's a relationship with our Creator through His Word, through the Word of God. And you know, yes, if we confess that, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus mm. and believe in your heart yeah. that God raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah. But it means coming out, forsaking the religion, and seeking God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. I, I if see, that, I if that you, makes sense. I see where you're coming from, but I personally. Yeah, well, he said, he said in John 3, Jesus said, except the man be born again, he cannot. To be born of water mm. and to be born of spirit. spirit yeah. To be born of water was your first birth when your mother's waters broke. Mm. Eight billion people come into the world by water. Yeah. And in that bedroom 22 years ago, I was filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. So I can understand the Word of God. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, how do we think about it? We got a YouTube channel with about two, okay, that's nice. uh, about two hundred videos. I'm an author. I published a book of our life. It's on Amazon. This one here. Yes, it's okay. free to free to read. The first okay. two chapters. It's about two quid on a Kindle. We don't make any money oh, out, of, out of it. But God used an unbeliever to yeah. put my story in a book to the world. Mm -hmm. The law and, and, and the commandments on the inside. Jesus done this in Mark chapter ten. The rich young ruler come running up to Jesus. He said, what must I do to have eternal life? And the first thing Jesus done... Denounce everything, leave everything. And there, the same thing is what I'm saying to you today. Else and come and join me. The Word of God, the King James Bible. Uh, there's a lot of corrupt Bibles out there for 22 the King, years. King James. The only one, because there's a lot of perversion out there. The new Bibles uh, were done by I Westcott. I would recommend uh, RSV. Or I wouldn't, I wouldn't, no, no. It's perverted compared to the King James. The King James 1611, authorized King James. You can get the app. In fact, I'll give you one of these, actually. This is an ex-Catholic, a brother in Christ, who... Um, is this a back note? Oh, no. <laughs> who, uh, ex-Catholics for Christ, go to their, their YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. He's got a KJV. Um, he teaches the Word of God verse by verse. Okay. Him and his dad, and they got nuns and priests. My wife has got nuns and priests, and they're ex-Catholics that come out of their religion. My wife has come out of their religion, and that's what we we need to do in order to show that we're wholeheartedly in Christ. So this is the YouTube channel? Yeah, but the Bible studies might help you and give you the answers that you're looking for. It's a, we, it's a Aaron, nice thing to look at. I don't would, think I'll be leaving Catholicism would it, anytime would it soon. Be, would it be okay if I was to actually show this video? This yeah, is recorded yeah, on right. YouTube. Listen, thank you thank very you, much. Nice to meet have a good you. day. But and please go and have a look at the, the, the Bible studies. Thank you. And thank it's, you very it's, much. It's good to see people. You know. Thank you. Very